Would you like to come here? You're safe now. Hi. You're hiding. Because she was so scared and she just lied as flat as she could against the floor. I was doing a transport run to take two dogs out of the shelter and I decided to walk the kennels. There was this tiny baby shepherd who just laid there. Trinity just looked at me with these big eyes and I just said, you're coming home with me. This puppy and that puppy. When we were walking out of the shelter, Trinity is being carried out. She wouldn't walk out on her own. Everyone's doing okay? She found a lot of comfort in the two pups that were back there. That's so cute. She's in love already. Yeah. You're a good girl. Uh, the new girl. Um, all set up here in the bathroom. And she's not moving. I wanted to make sure that she had her own space to decompress in. How are you doing? You okay? I sat with Trinity in the bathroom because I just wanted her to feel secure in my presence. She wasn't eating for probably the first hour, and so what I did was brought in the really good wet food for her, and she ate it all up. The next day, I put her on the grass, and she just fell flat. Come on, baby girl, can you get up? She won't move. So I brought my youngest puppy, Topaz, out to the yard to meet her. Hi. Hi, good girl. Are you playing? Immediately, she started opening up and blossoming. Hello. Good job, good job. She seemed so excited to have new friends that understood her better than me. So I started bringing the rest of the pack in and everyone was very calm and very understanding. So cute. She finally understood that she was in a safe space. She's bounding around the yard. She's running around. She's checking in with me. How can I resist that? Tell me. And for me, that's a huge sign of trust. It was amazing. One of my really good girlfriends saw the photo that I posted of Trinity and she called me immediately and she said, I just know that this dog is meant for us. Amazing news. Me and the little girl are heading towards her new future. She seemed to be the missing puzzle piece for that family. It was one of the most amazing meet and greets I've ever done. And it was a three hour happy cry fest because we were so excited about how well Trinity was adjusting. The emotions I feel when I get the updates, it makes my heart want to explode. This is exactly why I do what I do. And this is why I will continue to fight for these lives because they are absolutely worth it.